What is good you guys, Tommy Flower here and welcome back to another episode. So you guys, in this episode I'm going to be bringing you guys another GTA 5 duplication glitch. And before we get started with this glitch, just so you know this is super easy. This could take around 2 minutes or more, just like at minimum. At maximum, probably around 5 minutes if you do hit the glitch, right? But you know, in the beginning I thought it wasn't legit because it took me so long to hit the glitch. But once you hit this one part, it's easy all the way through. It's only that one part that I will show you guys during the tutorial of this glitch. So, because when I did it, it took me a long time to figure out it. And I thought it wasn't legit when I watched uh, the video on how to do it. And then I'm going to bring you guys a tutorial on this. So, big shout out to Dead Gaming Live. He does the, the, the glitch tutorials and is on top of the glitches because they are legit. And um, if you guys are confused about the gl this glitch just go check out his channel he does he did the same one as well so like i said go check him out and without further ado let's get started so what you need is an moc with personal vehicle storage at the back and then what you also need is uh you need the car you want to duplicate which has to be the sultan rs or the slam van uh that is customized so if you guys do not have those those are what you need to have to do the glitch otherwise it will not work so once you guys have those, you're going to need to put the Salt RS inside of your MOC to start off with. You're also going to need either a Fagio or a Salt, or not a Salt, sorry, either a Fagio, which only costs $5,000 in any garage you want, doesn't matter. Or you need a free LG RH8, which is free, you can buy if you don't have it. And uh, that's technically it. So without further ado, guys, please subscribe and like the video, and let's get started into the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to drive your Salt RS inside your MOC. And then you want to get inside of the Sultan RS, and you want to press on the gas, and you want to unplug your controller at the same time, which should disconnect it. And then reconnect the controller, and what should happen is you spawn outside of the MOC without any personal vehicle. But as you can see, it did not work because the uh, icon of the personal vehicle is underneath this, the MOC icon, which means it fell through the map. When that happens, just return to storage, and then try the glitch over again. The reason why I'm showing you guys these fails is because these are the fails you're going to run into. Now, at this point, uh, I think I'm going to hit it. Uh, I always on the third try because I was recording this like when I first tried it out. And I want to give you some proof that it does work. So I think at this point, it didn't work right here. It spawned underneath the map again. So as you can see right there on the map. Now, right here in this clip, I will hit it. So I'm going to skip into that. Now just so you know you guys, is that you do not need any custom plates. This, uh, you will not, you will 100% not get dupe detected. So don't worry, you will not get dupe detected. So right here, I did hit the glitch. And what should happen is when you go back inside your MOC, there should be two salt on RSs. The one that is the original, one is the duped version. Now as you can see, it worked because there is no personal vehicle icon underneath the MOC icon. Now, as you can see inside, there are two salt RSs inside of each other. One door is open, one door is closed. Now, when you do go inside, they can be either on top of each other or inside of each other. Now, when you do see that, all you want to do is just go back outside the MOC. But if you do not see any salt RS in there, that means it disappeared. It's not on the map anywhere. Just return back to storage. Don't worry, you did not lose the vehicle. Now, if the glitch did work, just uh, walk back outside of the MOC. And I accidentally disconnected my controller right there. And once you walk back outside, call in the Fagio or the LG RH8, whichever one you picked. And then uh, once you have it, you want to put it inside your MOC. It's going to say that your MOC is full. Do you want to replace it? You're going to want to click yes. And what it's going to do, it's going to replace the original uh, Sultan RS. But you're still going to see the duped inside. So you're going to see the Fagio and the duped version. So you can see you see the duped Sultan RS and the Fagio inside of it. If you chose the LG RH8, it will be on top of the Salt and the rest. So it will be on top of it if you do choose the LG RH8 and drive it in. Now, once you do, next thing you want to do is you want to buy an LG RH8. It's free, so don't worry about it. And you want to replace it with the Fagio or the LG RH8 that's inside your mobile operation center. So you want to replace it right there. And then once you do... You want to get inside of the Sultan RS. Uh, I couldn't go into through the front because uh, the door was locked, like in position. So just go through the other side, and you want to drive it out. Once you do drive it out, 
you want to drive back inside so you can see the plate right there that's the plate the original plate now when you drive outside what should happen is that the plate should change right there you see that is the plate that is on the fagio that you drove inside the moc but if you chose the lg rh8 that is the plate that was on the lg rh8 that changed into the same plate that's on the Sultan rs so that plate when that plate changes, that means you know that it worked, you're in the dupe version of the Salt LRS. So once you do drive it out and the plate changed, you want to drive it back inside the MOC. And as you can see, it disappeared. Don't worry, you not lose it. What you uh, want to do is you want to walk back outside and wait for the LG RHA that you ordered. So just wait outside and wait till it's ordered. Once it's ordered, go back inside the MOC. And what should happen is that you won't, won't you won't see the LG RH8. It will turn into the Sultan. So let's go see that. So as you can see right here, my LG is about to be delivered. And what should happen is when you go back inside your MOC, there shouldn't be any LG RH8. The uh, Sultan RS should appear back. So as you can see right here, the LG RH8 should appear back. Right there. There you go. Now, you do have the dupe version right there, and what you then want to do, which is really important, is you want to save it. So drive outside, drive back inside the MOC, and then you can drive out and put it in any garage you want. If you don't save it, then th this Sultan RS, the dupe version, will turn back into the LG RH8 it was originally formed in. And you won't be able to sell it for any money. But if you want to sell it right away, then you don't have to save it. You can sell it right away, but I did just in case. So. I can't really show you proof where the original um, Sultan RS was, but like I said, when you do do the glitch up to this point, call in your mechanic and check where the original Sultan RS is. It should be uh, where the Fagia was placed in any whatever garage it was in, or whatever the LG RH8 was in, whichever one you chose. But like I said, I chose the Fagio, and my Sultan RS should be where, the, where my Fagia was in the beginning. Now here we go, I'm about to sell it. So we're going to have to sell it for 600k, but this isn't upgraded to the max because I this is the first time me doing a glitch. So we'll have to sell it right there, and there we go. So like I said, this is really easy. I'm about to I'm gonna show you a clip of me hitting it the second time, but this time the two solar S's that are inside the MOC when I hit the glitch, they are on top of each other. So here we go. We're gonna fast forward to the video. So right here, guys, this is what I'm gonna hit the second time. I'm gonna go back inside my MOC. Or get get the original car first and then put it in MOC so you can dupe it again. Make sure you always dupe the uh, the original all the time. Don't dupe the, the duped version because it works easier with the original. So there we go. I hit the glitch. I get again. I press the gas. Well, this kind of controller where I'm plugging it. And as you can see, it is on top of each other. Now, same thing again. I'll have to end the video after these steps. I'm not gonna fast. I'm, I'm not gonna make the clip um, continue on. I'm just going to stop it when I'm done talking, so I'm just going to review what has to be done. So, what member, like I said, what you then want to do is you want to call in the Fagio or the LG RH8, whichever one you chose, and then you want to bring it inside the MOC, and what it would what would happen is that it would replace the original Sultan RS into which garage that your Fagio was in or LG RH8 was in. So here we go. And then after that, you guys, all you have to do now is get inside the Sultan RS, drive it out, drive it back inside. But remember, before you do that, you have to uh, buy the LG RH8 first. So with the bite right here, once you do buy it, like I said, get back inside the Sultan RS, drive it out, drive back inside. It should disappear. After it disappears, walk back outside the MOC, and then wait for the LG RH8 that should be, that, uh, should be delivered into your mobile operation center. Now, once it's delivered, go back inside your MOC, and what you should see is the Sultan RS. Now, check the plate out there, right here, and the plate should change. Watch this. Bam. The plate has changed. As you can see right there, that's how you know it worked. Now, like I said, remember, at the end, when your, L when your LG RS has been delivered to your mobile operation center, and you see the Sultan RS, the duped version, you want to drive it back outside and drive it back inside to save it and you can put it anywhere as you want or you can sell it right away which means you don't have to save it so that is it for this episode you guys i'm just going to end it here i'm not going to finish the clip but you know i did this so many times and it wouldn't work until i finally hit the first part of the glitch which is disconnecting it my controller but that took me so many tries to do and i thought uh i just give on it but you know it's 
um, I got this uh, YouTube um, tutorial video on this duplication glitch from the freight train and uh, Dead Gaming Live. Those YouTubers, they are on top of these glitches, and that's how I knew that I didn't give up because obviously it's legit because their channels and their duplication glitches are legit, which is why I didn't give up. But you know, if you guys are complaining that it didn't work, that's probably because that it got patched because these are solo money glitches. And these solo money glitches get patched really, really fast by Rockstar. So if this video is five days old, then probably don't watch it. So that's it for this episode, technically. So yeah, I'm just switching it between my outfits that I have, waiting for my elegy to be delivered. So yeah, that's it for this episode, you guys. Please subscribe, like the video if you did enjoy. I will be doing more as I send to this video. And whenever there's a new glitch coming out, I will post it right away for you guys. And um, that's it for this episode. Please subscribe and like the video, as I said, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.